Engineering principles for removing a large tree stump without using heavy equipment. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and also a new book, Create Your Own Job Security. In Backyard Deer Hunting, I talk about survival in the sense of taking game and putting it on your family's dinner table. And in economic security, I speak of securing your own and your family's economic future. In this video, I'm going to highlight the engineering principles and methods used to move this large tree trunk in my yard. The first of the principles is to clear your work area, and the second to gather your tools. And here's what it looked like when I started. I obviously have cut away the rest of the tree. Number three is to remove all the soil from the root ball. That's about as much as I'm going to do this afternoon, and this has taken me about two and a half hours. And well, I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm going to take a rest and I'm going to continue tomorrow. There's no reason for me to do this all in one day, so consequently, I'm not going to. Number four remove additional weight from the tree by cutting off sections of the trunk and any protruding roots that you can easily get to. Our excavation of this root ball has now revealed some hidden things. I'm going to be able to take my a large bow saw and take these off very conveniently. Then this root here is going to need to be cut right here and here. This one cut off and in addition, there is a fork right here and another group and another root that continues deeper into the ground that I'll need to get. Plus, we're going to tackle the trunk too and take another round of wood off it. Number five, now after you have cut away the non-load bearing roots, you have to remove those that are actually carrying some load and under pressure. So this is an occasion to be very careful when you're cutting these roots. When you're working load-bearing roots, cut both ends of them, and you cut the one furthest away from the tree first. Now you probably have exposed some roots that you could not see initially. So now dig out those as much as possible and start to work them. This morning we are facing cutting out two retaining roots. This one that I have mostly uncovered and one on the opposite side which I have partially uncovered. Number eight, exercise extreme care when working the ease. You may have to make V cuts so you relieve pressure on the saw as it's cutting the wood that's under stress. Saw blade using a Harbor Freight machine. 
Uh, it sharpened a point, but it did not really sharpen the cutting blade very much. Consequently, you can see the small size of the shavings. Yeah, it cut better to start with, but the blade is now quite dull again. Nonetheless, I think I can use it to make it through the rest of this cut. Uh, as you see, I've chipped away a portion of that root, about a third of it, but it's a very awkward chop. I can't really get at it very well. So uh, we fired up the saw again, and we're going to see if we can do some more and get some more of that wood gone. I had to use the electric chainsaw to do the final cutting to get that root section out of there. But as you see, I did. And now we have a cavity where that root mass can actually start to rotate a little bit and perhaps get some momentum so I can at least turn it over. Number nine, formulate your extraction plan now that you can see what's going on. I'm now making a pull on the top of the root ball to give a rotational motion so I can pull a root from beneath the stump that I can hook my truck up with cable and chain to tree over there and pull this root ball out on its edge. Number 10, clear your extraction path. Once you get that mass moving, you don't want anything to hang it up. In getting ready for my next phase of the operation here, which is attempting to rotate this stump, I'm going to take my electric chainsaw and cut out these potential obstacles. I'm rigging up for the pull using the winch cable and two chains. The square knotted chain on the stump is used to help from kinking the cable itself. We're about to see what we can do with moving that stump. I have a chain with a square knot in it, then a cable attached to the winch on the front of my truck and my truck attached to that large pine tree back there by a heavy chain. So hopefully we'll be able to put a good pull on that stump and move it. It still has a piece of root attached to the bottom. I'll leave the camera here so we can judge to whatever degree it may move. We might not be able to do anything with it at all. We may have to pull on it from another direction, which I can do. Somehow, although I want to be able to get to that root, which is directly under the center of the tree. The tree behaved exactly as desired. The rotation caused by the top pulling point extracted the root, and the trunk mass caused the root to fall forward so I can more easily work those roots. Well, we have been successful. By good fortune, that piece of root that you see sticking off to the left was already broken. So I was, in fact, able to pull it out of its hole. I moved the root mass from the immediate work area for more convenient trimming and ultimate loading. I was able to use the winch and pull it about another uh, 12 feet or so onto somewhat firmer ground in my yard. For now, this is Hobie Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye. God bless, and see you next time. Among my prize-winning books are Backyard Deer Hunting, Extreme Muzzle Loading, Crossbow Hunting, and Practical Bow Fishing. My new book, Create Your Own Job Security, has to do with you starting your own businesses when and as you need them to accomplish your life goals. Some of these are done immediately, and others will follow as you progress through life. 
Now that I have the stump removed and more accessible, I'm going to continue cutting and chipping away at it until I get it smaller and smaller so we can really handle it. For more information about my books, blogs, and more than 725 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. For more information on my business books, you can go to createyourownjobsecurity.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.